Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day from St Peter's Bexhill. If you ever feel unworthy, you're in good company. Moses stuttered. David's armour didn't fit. John Mark was rejected by Paul. Timothy had ulcers. Hosea's wife was a prostitute. Amos's only training was in fig tree pruning. Jacob was a liar. David had an affair. Solomon was too rich. Jesus was too poor. Abraham was too old. David was too young. Peter was afraid of death. Lazarus was dead. John was self-righteous. Naomi was a widow. Paul was a murderer. So was Moses. Jo Jonah ran away. Miriam was a gossip. Gideon and Thomas both doubted. Jeremiah was depressive. Elijah was burned out. John the Baptist was a loudmouth. Martha was a warrior and her sister may have been lazy. Samson had long hair. Noah got drunk. Did I mention that Moses had a short fuse? And so did Peter and Paul. And well, lots and lots of people did. But God doesn't require a job interview. He doesn't hire and fire like many other bosses because, in fact, he's more like our dad than our boss. He doesn't look at financial gain or loss. There isn't a pass mark of the Ten Commandments. He's not prejudiced or partial or judging or grudging or deaf to our cry or blind to our need. As much as we try, God's gifts are free. It is up to us to use those gifts well. So what are your gifts? Gifts of the Spirit, they're often called. You have at least one, probably more. You might be very good at listening or talking, praying or action or both, seeing what needs to be done, brilliant at details. You might be a born healer or a whiz at mathematics. It can be embarrassing to say what our gifts are, and we can often see someone else's gifts more easily than we can see our own. So perhaps today you can tell someone, thank them for their gifts and how they have used them to help you. Perhaps today we can all say thank you. Amen.